Miss Kelly Roy, are you okay? You look like you're getting tired. Uh, don't worry, I'm fine. But thanks for asking. Although, I do have a question I'd like to ask. Have all of you read Heart of Clear Springs? I haven't actually read it. My dad told me the story once. It's about a spring fairy and a young boy. Oh, yes. The story of a spring fairy who left her homeland and met a boy under the moonlight in a faraway land. The boy poured out his heart to her, and she listened to his stories. Over time, the boy grew up and began to develop feelings for the spring fairy. But the Spring Fairy didn't understand human love, and was afraid that making a promise to him would ultimately end in tragedy, and so... Um... Ooh, I don't know if Diana's father mentioned the part about the kiss to her. In the end, the Spring Fairy left the boy, and was never heard from again. Ah, oh, yes, that's it! Many years went by, and the boy became an old man, but he never stopped believing that the fairy was real, and not just a dream. Sounds like a tragic tale. So, what do you guys think of the spring fairy in the story? I'm sure she made her decision with the best of intentions, but the boy couldn't hope to understand why she left. It's a shame that the misunderstanding never got cleared up. Well, do you think she should go back and see that boy again? If she ever had another chance? Now? But isn't he an old man by the end of the story? Hmm. Isn't it a bit late? What if it just led to more regrets? Oh, sorry. No. Oh, maybe I'm being too pessimistic. If Paimon was that boy... Hmm. Actually, Paimon would definitely want to see the Spring Fairy again, no matter how old Paimon got. After all, she's the love of his life, right? I see. Oh? <laughs> Looks like the party's still going strong over here. Are you coming up with more couplets? Need my help? Stick to hosting, Tone Deaf Bard. If you get involved, you only match every couplet yourself and not leave any for the rest of us. <laughs> I never knew you had such a high opinion of my abilities, Paimon. But the couplet games are all over now. Tomorrow's theme is freestyle poetry. Do we have to share our own poems with everyone? That's right. If you're not feeling confident, don't worry. It's never too late to register for Venti's Poetry Cram class. I'll sign up. Oh, me too. Hold on there, Buster. Before you start peddling your classes, just how much freedom is there with this freestyle poetry, exactly? Aren't there any requirements at all? It's as free as the winds that blow. And there's nothing freer. There are no limits to genre, form, content, or anything else. So long as it comes from the heart, you're welcome to put it into poetry. Give it a try. There's no better chance to express your innermost thoughts. Whoa. That's almost too much freedom. Paimon can't decide which way to go, our travels, or maybe all the food that the travelers cooked for Paimon. Will you come too, Kelly Roy? Paimon wants to see what you write. Oh, um, yes, I'll be there. Ugh, Ugh my nose is starting to itch again. All right, I shall leave you to privately ponder your poems and bid you all good night. See you tomorrow.